<clears throat> so field of six here for the assessment trial for the Gippsland uh, Harness Racing Training Centre. And of course as part of these assessment trials the uh, competitors do all the uh, preliminaries as uh, per normal on race day. Circling the clerk of the course and of course listening for the instructions from the starter. So these horses will come out of pre-race formation shortly and move up behind the mobile barrier. So our students being assessed this morning, Mariah Lakeman driving to Mystic Castle. And uh, also Daniel Cormick who drives for Elizabeth Bromack. So these horses will come back round and then move into their position here. Field of six, so a good size field and uh, should be a good contest. Certainly good experience for our uh, young uh, Reigns people. So it looks like we're starting to get organised now. The runners are starting to break the pre-race formation and they'll come up behind the gate here. Now Lady Rosalie is not on her best behaviour. She's uh, not really keen at all at this stage. She's keen but not to score up anyhow. Others come up alright. Now she's hit her straps, Lady Rosalie. So the field move up. And they get set. And Lady Rosalie's come up nicely to the gate now. Almost right. Up they come, they're set. And they're away, the assessment trial underway, and uh, from the outside of the front line, showing not a lot of speed was I'm a lucky guy. Now going off stride there, Mystic Castle into the first corner, uh, dropped back through the field there, the others had to swing to get out of its way, and as they settle fully into stride, it's Lady Rosalie, who wasn't uh, all that keen to score up, but she's uh, found the front here and has uh, found the top in pretty good style as they settle down from Elizabeth Bromack racing into second position as the runners swing into the straight the first time. So they've really opened this field right up here and Mystic Castle's uh, tailed off at this point in time. So taking stock, coming down the straight the first time, they've got just on two left to go. Lady Rosalie the leader and its margin is a sulkish length here to Elizabeth Bromack racing in second as they swing out of the straight the first time. Celestial Daybreak's running third. Stealth Cruiser in fourth spot. Next in the field then was I'm a lucky guy in that big gap to Mystic Castle now going round for practice. Towards the back they head towards the uh, 1400 metre turn this time and Lady Rosalie the one to run down and it's margin 5 metres as they go to the back. Second placing Elizabeth Bromack well rated in uh, second spot at the moment behind the leader at this point. In third as they head down the back straight this time uh, is the Celestial Daybreak and racing in fourth spot behind it was Stealth Cruiser. Last of the main group was I'm a Lucky Guy and about 85 metres away to the last one which was Mystic Castle. So off that back turn this time and they come down with just on uh, 1200 metres left to go. And steadied in the lead, it's Lady Rosalie at the head of affairs. Margin four metres now. Second placing Elizabeth Bromack as they come up towards the turn with just on 1,000 metres left to travel. In third placing over on the inside. As they swing to the straight this time, a Celestial Daybreak Stealth Cruiser races in fourth spot. Then I'm a lucky guy, Mystic Castle is uh, slowly bridging that gap. In the straight they come, just on one circuit left to go. And Lady Rosalie the leader. And as they come to the winning post with one lap to go, it's little Lady Rosalie doing it in style, leading the way. Elizabeth Bromack second inside the 800. 
Third spot as they swing out towards the back straight, Celestial Daybreak. They are followed then by Stealth Cruiser. Next is I'm a Lucky Guy. And still last of all going to the back this last time was Mystic Castle. 600 metres left to go. Trying to do it all the way. It's a Lady Rosalie in front. And it's margin four metres down the back the last time. Second is placed uh, at the moment Elizabeth Bromack. Now from third spot, Celestial Daybreak pulls out, starts its forward move. Uh, back behind those horses, then I'm a lucky guy about to be put into the event. And further back on the inside then, as they run off the back with Stealth Cruiser. But inside the 250 metre mark and still going all right, Lady Rosalie in front leads the way two metres. On the outside, Celestial Daybreak about to move up to the death chair. Just behind those uh, runners back on the inside, then came Elizabeth Bromack. They turn 150 metres to go. Lady Rosalie tackled now on the outside by Celestial Daybreak, uh, punching through late Elizabeth Bromack, taking the lead though near the line, Celestial Daybreak and Celestial Daybreak to score. Second, the Lady Rosalie just in front of over on the inside, Elizabeth Bromack. Gap in the field then to I'm a lucky guy. Back behind it was Stealth Cruiser and after making an early mistake, Mystic Castle trailed them in.